Hello and welcome. Today we are going to do something new. We are going to rank the vanilla Timberborn maps. So we're going to go through each of the maps and uh, after them we'll assign them uh, a rank or a rating. And uh, at the end we'll have a nice little list and we can see which maps go in with tier of the ranking system. Um, we're gonna go look at the map itself, the resources, um, and how much fun each map is to play. Um, there is one of the vanilla maps that I have never played, which is uh, the Meander um, map. We will go look at it and I will rank it, but it is based solely on what I just see from looking at it, other than that we don't really have a um, point of, um, of, of of ranking it so we are starting with the default map which is planes all right so the planes map um, is fairly straightforward we have a river coming through and there is the water sources right over here it flows past your starting point and it flows off the map after being in a lake um, there's quite a few starting resources. We have the berries, we have the trees, very close. Um, it's it's an it's a good beginner map, absolutely. You have uh, plenty of space to uh, to expand to before you need to start worrying about new districts and yeah, moving out of your uh, of your starting area. Um, the dandelions that they added with the last patch. You need to do a little bit of work for that to get to the, the basic ones, but it is more likely that you already have a forest there by that time or when you need it. Um, so you can just plant them. The water production on this map. Um, so I'm going to list the water strength of the, of the water sources of each map. So you can use that information to decide when you want to play a certain map because the water strength determines how much water is produced uh, in a certain set of time and uh, basically that that shows you how much water there will be available on the map the plains map is a 256 um, by 256 map so it's the largest map size available and the combined water source strength is 8 so um, that is just a, a number that determines how much water is produced when we're in temperate season um yeah overall it is a fun map you have your metal uh, close close enough by that you don't need to uh make a separate district for it you can actually get there by adding a path and connecting it up here and setting a scavenger flag right at the edge of your reach and it will reach your um metal so you can get to all the resources right from your starting point and you can um, basically block this off with a dam and have your water for your first drought so based on that we are going to rank the planes at a nice little b i think that is a good position for the planes map so this is the first start of our tier ranking you can uh, you can find the link to the tier maker in the description and you can do your own ranking so let's go to the next map the second map we are going to look at is beaverome this is the newest map that has been added to the game together with helix mountain but helix mountain was originally available earlier i will get into that when we get to that map so Beaverome, a very interesting map. There is a lot of um, lakes basically that flow over into each other. And um, there is a lot of water and there is very, very little room, flat areas where you can actually put your um, farming areas or your forestry. And that makes this map really interesting. Um, it is 
definitely on hard mode a very challenging map but that doesn't mean that it is not fun um, there is quite a bit of water resources so the map is a size 192 by 192 and the um, amount of water source strength is 22 on this map so compare that to the to the starting map the planes map of 256 by 256 that only has a strength of eight so the water production on this map is quite large um, it is the second largest water production in the vanilla maps so um, we have resources nearby we have some pines we have some birches there is your starting berries um, in order to get to your um, to the to the um, dandelions you have to go a little bit further but as I said in the previous uh, map um, it is okay you can you can get here by going over here but um, yeah it is not really that big of a deal at the early game so you don't really need it um, very challenging map what I what I do is uh, place a levees in the lakes and use the bottom of the lakes um, for farming area and uh, as you can see there is a mine here so you will have to make sure that you uh, that you excavate it the water sources are scattered so there is some over here and um, there is some over here and then there's a third one um, let me find it there are three spots of water sources here is one here is one and where is the final one I'm sure of it there is another one now I can't find it that is a very annoying oh here here it is I was just looking at it from this side I couldn't see them so there's three different spots where water is produced um, overall a very challenging but very fun map and I hope this shows the direction in which they will go with releasing more vanilla maps. I'm sure they will be adding more with coming patches. And uh, and when they do, I hope they take uh, take this into account, like make something unique. Uh, not another, you know, mountain map with a river going through it. Just something different than what we are used to. Um, yeah, great, great map. I, uh, I really enjoy this uh, I really enjoy this map so based on that we are going to rank the beaver home map and uh, we're going to rank that above the planes but still on the same tier um, I think it's better than planes uh, but it's not top tier we might come back later and reshovel this if we go through all of the maps but for now, this is going to be what we rank these. The third map that we will be looking at is Canyon. It is a smaller map. It's uh, 128 by 128. We have the water sources over here that have a river going to this side of the map. You have your barriers that you can demolish and you will have the water flowing both sides. You can easily close this off with some levees and some dams or levees and floodgates um, there is no way you can easily get to any of the metal you will have to do quite a bit of work to it for it because um, you always have to go up and the closest is this one you can get there um, from your starting position barely but you can uh, you can get there by making the path correctly um, the water pro production on this map it is a uh, 128 by 128 map as I said and um, the combined uh, water source strength is 8 uh, which is similar to the starting map planes so considering that this uh, map is only a quarter uh, of the size of that map you will have plenty of water coming through which will also mean the river is flowing quite quickly and uh, that will really help with your water wheels if you want to make power um, I've only played this map once because I didn't have a real connection with it it is just more of the same 
um, as the as the main map, it's just everything is a bit taller up, but you have your river next to your starting location. You have your plenty of berry bushes. You have your um, your have that forest. You have your pines. You have some maple, some birches. It is, uh, yeah, it's not my my favorite map. Let's just let's just keep it at that. So based on uh, that, we're gonna to going to rank it as a D, I think. I don't think I can move it up to a C. Um, yeah, it's uh, it's just it's just, it didn't do it for me. So I'm gonna keep it at that one. Next up is the smallest map that comes with the vanilla game. This map is called Diorama, and um, it really does look like a diorama. It is a very small map as i said it requires you to correctly manage your setup because you will need every inch of real estate on this map the fact that it's so small and you need a lot of room for your forests and your food and all of that and your water you need to keep some water available throughout your droughts um, you need as much real estate as you can get and that is where the best part of Timberborn comes into play. That is on this map, you need your vertical setup. You need to build to the sky and I love that. It is a very challenging map. You can give yourself a challenge like I want to have a 200, 250 beaver uh, tribe over on this map. Um, that is very challenging in and of itself you can also just play on hard mode and and make your life miserable in that way and <laughs> try to survive that way it is a fun map and um i've played it a couple of times because i'm more of a fan of building very large as you might ha may have noticed in um, many of my videos and um that's why i usually pick the larger maps like 192 and up but this map is one of the better challenging maps of the vanilla game. It is uh, it has everything, but you need to plan and you need to correctly um, use your real estate. I uh, I think this is a this is a, a, a banger, absolutely. So n not much more to add to that than uh, basically placing it on the top tier of things. It is a great map, and uh, it needs to be on top there they shouldn't make another one like that they should just keep it at this there are plenty of small maps that you can find that are um, made by the community so you can get plenty of those challenges from elsewhere but for the vanilla maps this is definitely a banger the fifth map is helix mountain this is also one of the newer ones it was originally um, it was originally released in a, a little bit different setup, but very, very much the same for a contest that they that they did. Um, and uh, we have this nice spiraling water flow over on this end. It takes a long time after a drought for this to come down. That is what makes that fun. Um, there is already setups for rivers to go down these ends of the map. And uh, and and here, um, if you if you remove this, we have this um, this little crater that you can use to uh, close off and uh, and and use to your advantage to make a city inside of it or something. And um, there is another water source right over here. The uh, combined strength of this map it's a 256 by 256 map so the largest possible map um, in the vanilla game and the combined water source strength is 15 and that is uh, almost double that from the plains map um, so um, you want to go up here as quickly as possible and close this off and open this up so that the water flows here and you can use that to your advantage in your starting area. Um, I played this map when it was uh, the or original contest map. 
the crater was a bit of a different setup. We ended up uh, making a nice little fortress inside of it. And uh, ba we basically flooded the whole map. We closed off everything on this side. The only part that wasn't flooded was everything from this point to the, e to the edge of the map. This was still not flooded, but everything on this side of the mountains was flooded and everything over here was flooded even into here. Um, that was uh, season one uh, that we played on Twitch. There is a small um, view available, uh, a walkthrough basically of what it looked like in the end um, on my YouTube channel. The link to all those will be in the description and you can look at how it ended up. It was a very fun map to play. I, Like I said, I've only played it once. It's a big map and I do want to get back to it in the current state because it is different. Um, I do want to get back to it. I had a fun time playing it. It was also my first uh, Twitch playthrough that I did. And uh, yeah, that gives me a good feeling that is just nostalgia. And uh, even though it's not that long ago, considering, um, yeah, fun, fun map. Uh, it is nice that we have two different locations for the water sources and that you can pretty much uh, guide the water where you want. You can you can make sure that it always goes around the corner or you can make it flow out of here. Um, yeah, not a not a bad map, not my not my absolute favorite, but still a really good map. OK, so let's place this one right between all of the other ones. As a C, I think uh, it's better than Canyon, but it's uh, it's definitely not up there with Plains or Biberome. So we're going to keep it like this as a C. This next map is called Lakes. And um, we played through this. I've, I've, I've played this map once, and it was during a playthrough on Twitch and the summary is available um, on my YouTube so please check it out if you want to see what we did with it completely um, it is a large map it's uh, 256 by 256 there is uh, the water source the water sources come from here um, it can flow wherever you want it to go basically if you remove the barriers and you can fill the lakes that are not filled yet there are a couple of lakes that are already filled. Um, we have a starting area not too unfamiliar compared to the um, plains and the canyon maps with a river going by. You have um, some metal that is over here. You can you can reach it if you want from your starting position, um, but it's easier to just make another district. What we did was we closed this off and we closed it off here as well and we filled this whole area with water. Um, you'll be able to see that in the summary preview. So the combined uh, water strength on uh, this map is 14. So there's quite a bit of water to maintain your um, settlement. I am not really a fan of this map it's probably my least favorite map of the vanilla maps so it's not going to be ranking high based on that i don't know exactly what it is um why i'm, I'm i didn't have as much fun with it as i have had on other maps it just didn't um there wasn't really a, a certain specific thing that, that I was missing or... But it was more like there was a specific thing that was not there. But what that is, I don't know. It's just a feeling. Not my favorite map at all. So, yeah. Ranking this one. One of the lower ones. So, how low do we go with lakes? I don't think we're going to go for an F. It's it's still decent enough, but yeah, I'm I'm going to place it as an E at at best. That is uh that's the best I can do for lakes. 
so we'll uh, we'll keep that set uh, there. Um, yeah, let's uh, continue to the next one. This map is called Meander, and uh, the reason for that is because the water meanders around the settlement, just like that. It is a it is a nice it is a nice way of uh, having the flow go around it. We have a nice little waterfall over here, uh, another one over here. It's a nice starting point. Now this is the only map that I have not played. Like I've looked at it, and um, that's about it. I have not played it. Uh, it's it's a it's a smaller map. It's 128 by 128. Um, that's probably the reason why I haven't yet picked it up to play. But I might find a reason to play it when I come up with an idea that either I want to do as a YouTube series or maybe become crazy and do a Twitch stream make a building on a small map. That could be a challenge as well. We will see what we're going to do. Um, the combined water source strength on this map is 11. So it's pretty, pretty decent. You will have quite a bit of water flowing. Um, you can blow this up and have the water flow directly here or you can uh, close it off here and have it flow here as well. Yeah, you can uh, you can do, do enough. You can also decide to close this off and have the water rise all the way to this level. So this fills up with water and uh, you'll have a lot of water available to you for your droughts. Um, you can easily staircase up here to get to the metal. You have your starting pine. There is some more pine over here. Um, and, and there's some birches over there. Not a whole lot of trees to begin with. Uh, mostly dead pines. But you have a little bit of green area where you can, uh, where you can get your trees growing. You can easily go over to the other side and get your... Uh, remove these berries and plant some of your crops or more trees up to you basically it uh, it does look like a good map i am going to rank it just solely based on what we're just seeing now i haven't played it so i don't know what the actual play style would be or how fun it is to play um but yeah that's all the information i have for this map it's the only one i have not played so that's that um of course, you can let me know in the comments uh, what you think of the ranking that I did. Or uh, I also leave a link to the tier maker page that has all the images and the uh, setup for it. And you can make your own tier. You can please feel free to share your, um, your uh, reasoning and your tier list in the comments. I'm very curious to what you think of the vanilla maps. Anyway, we're going to go rank this one now. Okay, so I am going to place this at a C. I don't know it. I don't know where to rank it, basically, because I haven't played it. So I'm going to put it on C. That is a nice middle ground, I think. Next up is a 196 by 196 map. It is called Mountain Range. We are currently playing on this map on Twitch season four. Um, let's just say this map no longer looks like this map during our playthrough as we are leveling the whole map and we are very, very close to being done. Um, it took us forever to actually move our district center. Um, we finally did it a couple of weeks ago. We've been playing this for a long time. This map is fun, but it is also the map with the lowest um, water generation. It is only has a combined water strength of five. And because of that, you will run out of water fr quite frequently, especially if you're playing on hard mode. Um, you have to preserve your water correctly on this map. The the challenge is real. Uh, it is a is, is a challenging map. You have 
a couple of options that you can do to make your water flows go different directions. So you can use that to your advantage. Um, you have your starting area. You have a lot of dead trees over here, which you can easily chop down and let this area grow. Um, what you want to do is place dams here and in here to make sure that the water that you have remains a little bit longer at the beginning. Um, yeah, it is strange to look at this map right now after playing it for so long uh, where none of this exists anymore. This whole mountain is completely gone. This whole mountain is completely gone. We have all the corners covered with uh, levees, everything is done we have a nice circle in the middle where we have our water storage from right from the get-go we start working on that so yeah it is very strange to look at it it is a fun map it is challenging though with the water sources um in our twitch playthrough i did edit the save games to make these water sources triple what they are now so our strength is actually 15 during the uh, during the playthrough because it was about mega building and not about the challenge of surviving. We know we can do that, but we didn't want to do that. We were mega building and completely destroying the map. So that is the thing that we changed. It was the only thing we edited. If you want to look at this, the VODs for most of um, Season 4 are available on my YouTube channel. And uh, you can also watch it live on Twitch if you want. The link is in the description. Anyway, this is a very fun map. I recommend you play it. Now, it is not an absolute banger, but it is still great. I think it's nicer than Plains. I am going to place it between Beaver Home and Plains. So we, uh, we have three already in the B section. Another fun map is this one. Um, not as great as the previous one, but it's still, it's still a fun one. Uh, it's also a large map. It's 256 by 256. So you can understand that I have played this more than once. Um, the first time I played it was also the first time I decided to close off the whole map. So I closed all of this off and everything on all the sides. And I flooded the whole map except for the tallest parts of the mountains. Which remained my tribes. And I had a big square here where we had... Um, the inside we had a tribe as well it is a fun map you have some water sources up here which goes down over here all the way here you can place um, dams here and here and here to keep the water in longer you can blow this up to have a small little water basin right over there um, and there is a water source over here the combined strength of these water sources is nine it's not it's not great but it's still more than the default planes map um, we're currently having a YouTube series that is called the Tendralar tribe it is a mod playthrough but we play on this map and uh, basically we pick this location because it goes down and we make a circular tribe so check it out if you want um, yeah it's a fun map you have like I said you have two water waterways that come in that you can use and uh, uh, it, it's 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 nice that you have quite a bit of green here where you can where you can s at your starting location can uh, get your food production going get your uh, log production going and uh, you can dam it off to to have even more storage because a lot of it's already a double hide over on this side so you can if you levy this off and then levy this off on this side you can get uh, double the amount of water in here and uh, that will keep you healthy through your droughts. Um, yeah, so uh, um, it is a little bit challenging to get down to your um, metal, but you can reach this right from the start. You can also reach this from your starting location and you can even reach this one from your starting location. So you have three uh, scrap metal locations that you can actually uh, re reach from your starting location even though it's a bit challenging because you have to make a lot of um, platforms and stairs and and whatnot to get there but you can reach it all 
you can make a staircase down here to use this green area and get all of this to your disposal as well. You can plant trees. We have some maple here or chestnut, I mean, and uh, that is lovely. So, um, yeah, also a map that I would recommend playing through at least once. So not as fun as mountain range, but I do think it is better than planes. I am going to place it between those two. And uh, that's because I have a lot of fun playing that map currently, but also previously. Here we are at the Thousand Islands map. And as you can see, there is a lot of islands, hence the name. This is the map that has the biggest water production of the vanilla maps. Um, as you can see, there is a lot of water sources here. It produces a whopping 53 water. Str the strength is 53 for these combined. Of course, uh, it all flows off the map on various uh, exits. And uh, there is a large area that needs to be covered with all this water. It is a fun and uh, challenging map even though you have the most water production. Um, the thing is, the water is very shallow on most places. You have this little area that keeps filled up during the drought. You can take this barrier down and fill up this so you have a good um, starting location. But what you basically want to do is close this off as soon as possible so that it only goes away from the map on one position or even only flows out on this side of the map. Um, we did have a Twitch playthrough of season three, Mega Building, and it was amazing. The build we made is my favorite build ever, so please check out that video. Um, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a lovely, it's a lovely build, in my opinion. Um, starting point, you have a lot of green area available to you in the starting. However, um, the water disappears pretty quickly as soon as the drought hit. So you do need to pay attention. You might want to make a staircase go down here and put a water pump in this area because it stays wet for a longer time. Uh, so even though we have a lot of water production, it is a challenging map. And uh, to get to any of the metal, you have to make a second district. You can't reach them from the main district. Um, so in order to get to metal, you uh, you will have to uh, you'll have to district out, and that is perfectly fine. You want to get here as soon as possible, anyways. You can use this water for your water wheels and make power over here and start using the metal straight here in a smelter, and do all of that. Um, yeah, I uh, really enjoyed this map. It definitely ranks up there with the top maps. So is it a tier A or tier B? Um, I'm thinking it is a tier A map. I really think this is one of the better maps in the vanilla game. I will rank it under diorama, but it's still up there. I'm thinking maybe we have to move planes to a top like a C plus but like yeah before Helix Mountain but on the C level um, let's do the final one and then we might take another look at it all and uh, maybe we shovel them around a little bit well not shovel but move them the ranking is still appropriate I think but uh, we might need to put them in lower tiers or higher tiers let's see what the next one brings we are at the final map of the vanilla game and this map is called waterfalls and uh, as you can see this is the reason why we have waterfalls coming down here um, we have this light nice little area where you can break up the barrier have your water seeping in here so you get a lot more green over on this location which is very easy to achieve so that is a welcome starting point in the game it's a smaller map it's 128 by 128 and um, we have a total water production of 12, which is pretty decent. You you uh, you need it for all the water flow from all, because the river is pretty wide. It's one of the wider rivers in the vanilla maps. Um, 
You can make the water go this way by blowing this up so you can have a waterway over here. It still flows out on this side of the map. I only played this map like I did not really, well, you can't really finish the game anyways. Um, but um, compared to how many hours I have on some of the maps, this is one of the, one map that I did not play for a lot of time. It probably is also because it's a smaller map. However, it is a good setup and I do want to get back to it at some point if I find some fun idea that I want to make for it. It's uh I've done the I've done the hard mode challenges and stuff like that. I've survived those. I'm not a big fan of playing on hard mode and making my life miserable. I'm more of a um builder kind of type, making designs, doing something crazy like we do on stream blowing the whole map to bits and making nice builds um so if i find something to do i will go back to this map as i said i've only played it for a couple of hours and um yeah based on that i will not rank it very high but it i might be wrong because it just didn't you know it just didn't click with me when i was playing it then it might do something different if i have a good idea so, um, as I said, let me know in the comments what you think of this map and what your rankings are. Anyway, let's put this on the board and see where it ranks. I think this uh, waterfalls map goes uh, below canyon but above lakes. I'm thinking we're going to go for the D. And uh, yeah, that should, uh, should be our ranking. Now I am going to move the planes one to the C tier. Just it makes more sense to have it there. It's it's a great map, but it's it you're basically because you play it as you start the game, you uh, you get done with it, and it is still a fun map, but it's it's not great. Um, it's it's not it not up there with Beaver Roam, Mountain Range, and Terraces. Now that I look at all of this. Um, I think I am pretty uh, pretty much okay with uh, how these, this list turned out. Um, we have a couple of great maps in A and B and then still great maps at C. Um, like I said, I haven't played Meander. So if you have a good idea that you think fits with my playstyle for the Meander map, please let me know in the comments. Also. Let me know what you think of this video as it is something different that we did this time around. And uh, I had fun. I had fun making this video. And uh, I hope you had fun looking at it and watching it and hear me talk about the different maps. Please let me know as well by hitting that like button if you did enjoy it. If you are not subscribed yet, come on. Why are you not subscribed yet? Please do it. And uh, I also stream on Twitch. And we have a Discord server. So make sure you stop by there if you can. It would be great seeing you. I will be back with more videos on my YouTube as well. Until then, take care, stay safe, and ta-ta.